Welcome to American Black Journal. I'm Stephen Henderson. A huge part of Detroit's African American heritage is getting a $52 million facelift. The city's downtown development authority has selected five teams to transform the Paradise Valley Cultural and Entertainment District into a 24 hour walkable destination spot with a jazz club, boutique hotel, art galleries, upscale restaurant, and a whole lot more. The historic area on the city's Lower East Side was a predominantly African American neighborhood with black owned businesses from the 1920s until the 1950s. It was later demolished to make way for the construction of the Chrysler Freeway. Joining me now is one of the investors in the Paradise Valley Project, art gallery owner George Namdi, along with Madi Ture, head of the real estate uh, division for the Detroit Economic Growth Corporation. Both of you, welcome to American Black Journal. Thank you. Welcome. So Madi, I have been hearing about redeveloping Paradise Valley for, uh, I don't know, a really long time here right. in Detroit. Now. Right. It's a reality. You've got the, the the investment. You've got the right players. Right. And what's important about this is it's not just preservation. This is, in a way, it's cultural preservation Absolutely. here in the city of Detroit. Absolutely. It was something that was important to the mayor. And he called us into his office, Rod and myself, and said that uh, now's the time to put out uh, an RFP for Paradise Valley. And he said, not only that, I actually want to bring it back, bring back the culture, the entertainment, uh, that Paradise Valley had at its height. Yeah. And I want it done during this timeline. And so that's what we were off to the races after that. And and the area that we're talking about, most people would know as Harmony Park right, right. now. Exactly. We've, that's sort of what we've called it since I was a kid, really. Exactly. Uh, and uh, talk about what will be there uh, when you guys are done. So when we're done, we're looking at uh, five projects. So what is uh, now uh, will be called the Harmony Club Hotel, which will be a 25 to 30 room boutique hotel with a 1920s feel with art provi provided by George <laughs> Namdi. Uh, and then we'll have uh, La Casa, which actually opened up during the downturn around the 2000, cigar the bar. Cigar bar. Right. Uh, so that will stay in place. It's actually been successful through the years. Um, and he will do a minor renovation to his building. And then the largest project on the vacant lots uh, will be a mixed use project uh, led by Hiram Jackson. And that'll be 60 units, uh, luxury apartments, uh, 12,000 square feet of retail, office and parking. And then we've got Dennis Archer Jr. who's doing Harmony Point and he will actually bring his headquarters uh, for his company down to uh, Paradise Valley uh, along with ground floor retail, restaurants, etc. And then uh, the great story too is uh, um, Rainey Hamilton who has been in Paradise Valley now for 22 right. years. The architect. Year, right? firm, the architect. Firm, yeah. uh, sure. Architectural firm and he's been leasing his space for all of that time and so now he actually gets to be an owner in Paradise Valley uh, and not only that he's buying the adjacent lot next door to him and he's adding an additional 16,000 square feet to his already 35,000 square feet uh, with ground floor retail as well and a jazz bar. So it's going to be an exciting, vibrant area all coming together through this conservancy, uh, which uh, all of the owners uh, came up with the idea of how to actually manage this area and make sure, at least for a, sp uh, you know, for a long period of time, that it will have that vibe that uh, Paradise Valley had. Yeah. Uh, George, you and I have talked a lot about what's changing in Detroit and what that change means. Uh, for those of us who've been here uh, for a long time, it seems like this project really, uh, really captures some of the things that you've said to me in the past about how important it is to preserve uh, the African American nature of, of of Detroit, especially this area. I mean, this was the black neighborhood right. uh, in the city. Well, I think it's uh, it, it, this is an example of what we can do in this city. And I think this project is so important for the city because one, you, you know, you have a major city that has an African-American presence for decades and you want to maintain that authenticity about the city because people, when they travel, the visitors, they're coming to see this authenticity of Detroit. They, they're, not, well, they, they're not coming to see a sanitized version <laughs> right. of this that they can get anywhere. Yeah. So I think this would also, this area, you know, with the culture, with the arts that we would be planning to put in this area, it would become really a very major tourist attraction and also a job generator for Detroiters. And this is this highlight the city, its history, and also its future. So it's not like the art is like, oh, we're going to go back to 1920s, <laughs> right. have all these pictures. But we want right. to have art that's cutting edge, art that has a whole national and international feel to it. So people will say, let's just drive up to Paradise Valley, even if it's a day trip from Cleveland. 
you know, right. those type Go of things. Go see what's going yeah, on there. Right. Talk, a, talk about the curation of that art. How, how do you plan to do that? Well, uh, well, a couple of things. I want to involve you know many local uh, the Detroit artists in the project, but also to I want to make it also open to bringing in some national artists to do you know because it's like it, what complements it is to have the local national and international artists of African descent that yeah. will be doing. It. We will do it through uh, the decorating of some and maybe a gallery and others. You know, uh, the hotel. Uh, should, you know, should just be a private place where you come in and you're like, oh, am I in a museum or am I in a, I didn't know where this was a museum, <laughs> right. but it's a hotel, because that's how the different hotels are now kind of moving, particularly the boutique hotels uh, that's more established. Yeah. They have that kind of uh, presence. It's all about right. the art that really drives people there. Well, and art was, was a part of the Paradise Valley that existed before in Black Bottom, of course. Right. Which was well, I started in I started in Paradise Valley Harmony Park in 1981. That's where I started my gallery. Uh, I don't uh, think and, I knew that. <laughs> yes, that's where I was. That's where the seafood market is. Okay. Apparently. That okay. was my space. And yeah. I was there for about three or four years at that location. Yeah. Um, Molly, talk about the timeline here for when we'll see these things uh, start to happen. Well, I, that's, uh, things will start to happen. Hopefully, we'll, the next steps are to sign a development agreement with the developers uh, in the next 30 days. After that, they should have, uh, I'd say, six months to a year in planning and permitting, and then 24 months of construction. So that's the... So soon. I mean, the, yeah, it, absolutely. just in the next few years. Talk about how it fits in with the other things that are going on downtown. I mean, we've got a lot of movement in some areas of downtown. Right. This is one that has been a little slower to, to turn that corner, right? I think it's just, it's perfect timing. It's, uh, if you look at Lear's also moving to, uh, to, that, to Paradise uh, Valley, right. and then you've also got, uh, Hiram's got his uh, uh, real-time media that's moving there as well. So if you look at, and then obviously we're now doing Hudson's Block, um, which is also going to add not just life to that particular area, but to all of downtown. And this frankly. is just a few blocks and from there. And this is just a few blocks from there. So it's, uh, it's perfect timing. I think that uh, Paradise Valley, is will be a destination if you look across the country there are all these cult the, every major city has a a, uh, a cultural destination if you will and this will be Detroit's so I think people will their first stop when they think about downtown if it's done correctly which I think it will be will be Paradise Valley and then they will venture off to go to other places yeah yeah and it sort of suggests that an inclusive model exactly of redevelopment downtown can work Right. Yes. Well, right. That's what we've oh, been that, That's about. the whole beauty of it. Right. We want to have this inclusive, diverse uh, a model that attracts everybody to it. You yeah. Know, we, this is this is the area that want to highlight the history, uh, African American history, but it's really you're really catering to the whole diverse community worldwide right. to right. come to Detroit because I do think it's a destination. I, I need to ask you about the Car Center, which yep. is in. Paradise Valley now in right. one of the spots that uh, that you guys are targeting for for uh, redevelopment. Right. A lot of folks upset that they're being moved and think that that's sort of an example of the other kinds of uh, displacement, I suppose, the cultural displacement at least, right. uh, of, of African American fixtures. The Car Center, of course, is a multicultural right. uh, center there. Talk about why it's okay to, to move them out. Well, I think first it, we have to say that I mean the the car center is a great asset to the city of Detroit, and so we have committed to them to work with them to find a new space for them that is more in line with their business plan. I mean now that building is about 35,000 square feet in need of res uh, renovation. Um, the proposal that we did choose is they're putting close to 13 million dollars of investment into, into the that building, building. Um, and so that's why and you know plus their financing strategy. We just didn't want to fall back uh, with all that we were trying to create in Paradise Valley uh, and have a situation where we weren't able to put that building into full production to help uh, uplift that area. Yeah. We bought those buildings into the DDA did in 2006 uh, when there was financial hardship in that area. It was only 20 percent vacancy. And part of that obviously is why that area wasn't successful. In order to make that in a successful area, everything has to come online at the same time and contribute. So you need apartments, you need housing, you need uh, the hotel, which adds 24-7 life to the area. All of that coming together is going to be the, the, the right thing for that area. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Steve, I remember when I first moved to Detroit, like in 76, and I went to Harmony Park at uh -huh. that time, 
And I just fell in love with her. I thought this was the most gorgeous place <laughs> to have in this city. And to be able to even come close, which we will be doing, to that kind of activity because it was very dense. Yeah, right. You know, the parking lots weren't there then. It was right. buildings. There were buildings on those restaurants sites. and everything. But it was so dense and it's just like it was such a hip zone. So to bring that back right. and have this opportunity to do this, have this opportunity to, so African Americans can also be, in terms of being investors into the project, it, it, it means a lot. It yeah. is very significant for the city and it may end up, it, it can help encourage other people to do other projects to, in other yeah. areas to also. Sure. Uh, talk about the, the public square itself. Uh, I, I live downtown, so I, I see what goes on there in terms right. of, there's events. I mean, there's a lot right. of people using that now. Right. Uh, is that going to continue or are you, or, and are you sort of investing in changing the physical uh, look at that park as well. No, absolutely. So uh, currently now with the bids help, they actually invest about $75,000 uh, to program uh, uh, Harmony Park. So that will continue and the, yeah. the goal is to actually do more than double that uh, because I think that's what's needed in order to have, uh, you know, 365 programming of that similar to Capitol Park and uh, Campus Martius right. with, uh, you know, with art and uh, concerts, et cetera. So that will continue and that will continue through the conservancy. So they will actually put together a calendar working with George to figure out how best to, to uh, make that a symbol for cultural and entertainment. And, and I think it all starts in that park, quite frankly, yeah. uh, and bleeds out into the retail. Right, right. All right, so uh, I will look forward to hanging out there soon, Absolutely. right? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, thank you both thank for you. Uh, thank you. being here thank and good luck. Yeah. All right.